happy Thursday. Um, so I know I kind of been MIA again. I'm oh, sorry, guys. But I'm just going to give you guys a quick update of what's been going on. Um, especially with my new second job that I got and all that stuff. So I'll start with last week. Um, so last week I had to do my... Um, they called it orientation, but really it was just like a whole bunch of videos. So I did it um, last week, Monday and Tuesday. So I did my morning bus run, but I didn't do the afternoon bus run for Monday and Tuesday. And so I went from like 10 to 3.30 almost on Monday. And then 10 to like 4.30 on Tuesday. But basically it was just like a whole bunch of trainings on like um, working with people with disabilities, um, fire safety... Um, and all this stuff, just a whole bunch of videos, a whole bunch of tests. Um, it was really, really boring, guys. It was really, really boring. But on the bright side, I do get paid for that. So the good thing that I like about this job is that anytime you go in to like the office, even if it's to do like the online trainings, which is just like watching little clips and then doing like the online tests, you do get paid for the time that you stay there. So that's the bright side, but it was just like a waste of time in my in my opinion. It was a waste of time. <laughs> but um yeah, so then oh, sorry. So then this week I started um my orientation, my in-house orientation is what they call it when you actually go to the group home. And so the coordinator who interviewed me and hired me and all that stuff, she forgot that she told me that my first day was Monday. And so I went there in the morning. Um, there was a nurse there and there was two DSPs. DSPs are, um, direct support professionals, so like the aides. Um, they were there and I'm like, hi, I'm new, I'm the new nurse. Um, did they say anything about training me? And they're like, uh, no. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, great. But, um, eventually she came at like 12 p.m., but I had been there since like 8 because my shift is 8 to 3 on Mondays. And so, really, it's not that bad in the mornings, especially Mondays. And that's what she had told me when she was interviewing me. But, you know, sometimes people just say that so you could, like, be like, oh, yeah, I'll work for you. Um, but really, even the nurse was telling me um, it's really, really easy just because um, there's four patients or four residents in the group home. Three of them go to a day program in the morning from 8.30 or 9 to 2.30. And the other one stays in the house but has their own one-to-one -one DSP. So really... Um, for the morning shift, what I'm doing is really just giving the meds before they go to um, the day program. Um, I don't take them to the day program. There's a bus that comes to pick them up. And really, it's just one patient with a G-tube. She's the real reason why they need a LPN in the first place. Because in group homes, DSPs are trained on how to give medications. And all the medications come in. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, like, the packages that are already, um, already pre-packaged. And they have, like, the days on them. So all you do is you go and you pop open the day, and that's it. That's your, med um, <coughs> sorry, administration. So a lot of the patients, the DSPs can give them medications. But when um, the nurse was training me, well, she wasn't really training. I was really just watching because she didn't even know that she was supposed to be training or anything like that. So really while I was watching her, she did um, give the meds for a lot of the other patients, but Really, the DSPs can give. It's only the G-tube that they're not allowed to give the meds for. Um, and like I said, that's why they hired me in the first place is because they said it's really that one patient with a G-tube, they're the only reason why they need an LPN in that home. Otherwise, it would have been all DSPs because they could give meds. So, um, so yeah, I was watching her give her the meds in the G-tube. Pretty simple. Um, they were eating breakfast, and then um, the bus came for the day program. Um, I took them, I took one out to, um, to the bus and then they went on their way. So the rest of the day was really just me chilling. Um, so the nurse that trained me, um, trained me <laughs> cause she didn't really know. Um, she was just like, yeah, this is how Mondays really are. She's like, the only thing that really changes is if like one of them has a medical appointment, I would be the one who drives the company van to take them to, um, the medical appointment. And it's not only LPNs that take them to the medical appointment. DSPs can too. So that's what I like about the job is that, um, you know, DSPs share the same work as an LPN with the only exception of the G-tube. Um, so 
if there's a doctor's appointment and let's say there's a DSP available to give the med, they'll, I mean, to take them to the appointment, they'll take them to the appointment. But other than that, they all go to the day program. And then, like I said, there's a one-to-one um, with the other patient that's left. So, okay. So like I was saying, um, really Mondays, um, after they left for the day program, I was really just sitting watching TV and the LPN that had trained me, she said that she had been there since like Sunday evening, like Sunday at seven, and she worked overnight, and then she worked the eight to three. So when my coordinator came, who's also the manager for now, she's like the temporary manager because they also just hired a new LPN manager. Um, she asked if she could leave early, and she's like, okay. So then it was just me, like you know, doing the other like in-house training with the coordinator. Which was really like just showing me this is where the meds are, this is where we keep our supplies, this is what the shower looks like, these are the rooms, um, this is our fire evacuation plan. And um, she was like, yeah, so when can you be able to come in to um, do another, like, okay, so I work Mondays and Thursdays, Thursdays I do overnight, today's Thursday, so today's my first overnight shift, I'm terrified. But she asked like, when can I be able to come in and do um, the medication check. So basically, before I can be able to start doing meds, I have to do a check. And I'm looking like, the thing that made me mad is, what I noticed with this job, is that they expect me to drop my schedule just for them. And I'm like, yo, like, I told them I work Monday through Friday, basically eight to four. Like, in between, I do have three hours time, but I can't just keep dropping my schedule. Because in my mind, I'm like, yo, if I was working for you guys, and, like, every week, I'm like, oh, yeah, actually, you know what? I can't come in. I can't come in. They would be mad, but then they expect me to just drop my schedule for them. So I told her, I'm like, you know what? I can't come until next week, Monday, 7 to 3. Uh, I mean, 8 to 3, or I could come Saturday, but I'm like, I can't come any other day of the week. Like, it's getting out of hand. Because <laughs> that's what they did the week before when, um... They were like, oh, you know, you have to do the trainings before you can start in-house. And, you know, a lot of people, when they when we hire them, they say, oh, um, you know, I'm working. But it's true. It's just like, yo, if I was working at your group home right now and I'm like, oh, yeah, next week I'm taking off Monday and Tuesday, you would not like that. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the only thing that kind of annoyed me is how they just expect you to drop your schedule just like that or be free and then they get upset if you're not free. It's just like listen, you're not my only job, and I told you this before you hired me. But anyway, yeah, so I will be going there on Saturday, 8 to 3, um, to do my medication check. Um, but the thing is, I'm a little nervous about that, and the only reason is because uh, the nurse, when she was training me, but once again, she didn't know she was training me, I saw that how she administered the med was completely... Um, different <laughs> I'll say that so I don't know if the nurse that's going to be training me on Saturday is going to do it different so now, now I don't really I'm not really prepared on how to do it for that specific patient but the patient's good um she's cooperative she like she knows like if it's medication time she'll come and like you know let you do it so that's a good thing it's just like how I'm gonna do it but I guess they're gonna show me first and then I'll see so yeah really what I'm nervous about is today my first night shift um so night shifts for this company is not a regular eight hour night shift it is a 10 hour night shift 11 p.m to 9 a.m so I'll be working 11 p.m tonight guys to 9 a.m tomorrow um, and so I did drop my mornings for um, the bus case, but I will be doing the afternoon. So I'm just scared. Like, I love my sleep, guys. I love my sleep. I love napping. Like, that is my hobby. So I'm terrified of what's going to happen. But I'll let you know a little secret. <laughs> when I went there on Monday, um, the night shift was still there because it's like 11 to 9 and I went there at 8. Um... And they do sleep. They do sleep. But if you think about it, it's a group home. It's a home. The patients are sleeping during the night. Unless there's, like, a real emergency. None of them get meds in the middle of the night or anything like that. So the staff does sleep. <laughs> so, but I'm not saying that I'm going to sleep or anything. But that's the thing I'm worried about. It's like, oh, will I be able to stay awake? So, you know, I'm going to come prepared. Uh, I'm going to bring a toothbrush with me. I got my toothpaste, my little travel toothpaste with me, <laughs> just in case. But, you know, 
I just want to see how the mornings are. Because it's not really the night that I'm terrified of. Um, Because even the coordinator, when she hired me, and even when I had my orientation on Monday, she was just like, you know, nights is really just some... Your duties are cleaning up, is what she said. So basically making sure everything looks tidy because the patients are sleeping, like I said. So even she said, like, she put it in a way to let me know, like, you know, you're not really going to be doing much at night. It was really in the mornings when they wake up, they have their morning meds, they need to eat, and then all that before um, the bus picks them up. So that's the only thing that's really kind of making me a little anxious, like, ah. But like I said, I'm going to be training, so I don't know why I'm, like, freaking out. I'm acting as if it's me that's actually... Well, I will be doing it soon, but I'm acting like, oh my gosh, I'm about to do it tomorrow. But, you know, that's just me. So I think I talked enough. I think I gave you guys a good update. Sorry for being MIA. <laughs> it's just, like, so hard to record. And this week, I've been so tired, guys. Like, um, the crazy thing is, even though the time on Monday, like, is the same as, like, if I were to do the bus case... For some reason, I was just, like, so tired and exhausted on Monday. I don't know if it's because of the weekend, but I didn't do anything different on the weekend. So this whole week, I've just been tired, tired, tired. So I don't know. I've just been so tired this whole week. So, but, yeah, that's my update. Um, I'll let you guys know, most likely tomorrow, I will record so you guys can see my face, so you guys can see... <laughs> what the night shift has done to me but yeah so and i don't even know like they didn't let me know when exactly i'll be starting on my own i don't think it will be next week that would be so horrible if it was next week because um listen you can't just throw me out there like i'm still learning <laughs> that's another fear that i have guys i don't like when like places they train you for like one day and then they're like oh yeah go out on your own you're, you're fine and it's just like i don't know what i'm doing so, yeah, they didn't give me a real training period. And the fact that she said, like, when can I come in to do the the other orientation? I should have just shut my mouth. I should have just said Monday. Only Mondays and Thursdays. Because now I regret saying Saturdays. I really do regret that. <sighs> I really do regret saying that now. But, um, see how it goes tonight. Um... And, yeah, I'll come back at you guys tomorrow. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> okay. Hey, y'all. Happy Saturday. I almost forgot to give you guys an update. <laughs> well, yeah, I did almost forget. Okay. So, I'm um, going to update y'all on how my first night shift went. I feel like I shouldn't say because, I don't know. <laughs> but if y'all remember what I said on Thursday about how night shifts go... And because it is a home, how it is at night, then basically that's how it was. Um, so really the the part that has like a lot of work is really like the mornings. Um, just waking everyone up, getting everyone ready, uh, giving them their meds. And then yesterday morning, um, ooh, excuse me, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I gave them their meds and then the day program comes to pick them up. And then that's basically like 9 o'clock when my shift was over. So night shift wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But I'm not going to lie. I was super, super tired, guys. Like, um, even though I did get a little nappy nap in, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was just like a lot because there's one patient in general or resident in general that just, um, they said doesn't sleep and so in the middle of the night while I was trying to catch a little Z's along with the other residents the one that was just awake was just like Aah! like the whole night and I'm I'm used to sleeping with zero sound so like every sound I heard I was like <gasps> I got scared and woke up so I didn't really get enough sleep and so um yeah I got off at nine I decided to go get some McDonald's because I was starving and then I came back home and I took a nap and then um, at like 12.50, my alarm rang, and I went right back to the bus. <laughs> so <laughs> I was running on a little, a little bit of sleep. Um, yeah, I went right back to the bus case. Um, did my patient, took my patient back home, and I was done for the day. Later on in the day, I had like church practice, like dance practice at my church. And so I was really, really tired. And so... Um, Today, I don't know if I told y'all, I probably did on Thursday, was it? 
um, or Wednesday. I don't remember when I recorded, but I probably told you guys that, like, um, the coordinator had told me to pick a day to come in and do, like, my med check or whatever. So that was today. Um, I got there at 8 o'clock. I asked for the coordinator. Once again, they said she wasn't there. I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so um, the nurse that was there on Monday trained me again. Um, this time, she allowed me to, like, you know, try out doing the bolus feedings and the meds and everything like that. And even the meds for the other um, patients, they let me uh, try it out and stuff. So it wasn't that bad. Um, it's just, uh, everyone has a different way of doing things. Like, every nurse has a different way of doing things. And so we have more than one person, because there was another nurse there, we have more than one person training you, like... If you learn one way, like, I already had learned how two previous nurses had trained me on how to do, like, the meds and the bolus feeding. So today, like, there was another nurse um, who was like, okay, let me watch you do it. And as soon as I started, uh, no, no. I was like, what? Like, didn't they show you how to do it? I'm like, this is how they've been doing it. They've been teaching you the wrong thing. And so, <laughs> like, everyone has a different way of doing things, um. Probably when I'm on my own, I'm going to have a different way of doing things. So that was just the only annoying part where it's just like, okay, now this nurse is going to think I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing exactly what they did. <laughs> like, two different other people did on two different shifts. So, you know, but it wasn't that bad. And so um, I was there, and then like 11 o'clock, um, I got a missed call from the coordinator. And I'm sorry, guys, if I sound stuffy, I feel like I got a cold, which is so annoying. Like, it's super annoying, but... Yeah, the coordinator had left me a message to call her back. And so I called her back. I'm like, hey, uh, yeah, it's me. And she's like, oh, yeah, how did it go Thursday night? I'm like, oh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. And then she, I was like, oh, I'm actually here right now. And she was like, you are? And I'm like, remember you told me to come Saturday 8 to 3 to go over the medications and how to do it? And she's like, oh, my gosh, I forgot. I'm like, so this is the second time. She forgot what my first day was, and she forgot when she told me to come back. Even though, I like, the day that I that we set it up, I was just like, okay, I'll see you on Saturday, Saturday at 8. And she's like, yeah, yeah, Saturday at 8. So I was just like, really? And she was like, yeah, I was really just calling you to see if you could work 3 to 11. And I'm like, if I could cover 3 to 11. I'm like, first of all, basically my answer was no. But I was just like, oh, yeah, I've been here since 8 o'clock. And she's like, oh, yeah. She's like, okay, you know what? Just put it on your timesheet, and then you could go at 3. I was like, oh, why? But I wasn't going to stay the 3 to 11 anyway, even if I didn't come in, just because y'all never trained me. I'm still in training. I don't know the patients that well or the residents that well. I don't know their meds that well. So how can I cover for another nurse, meaning there's not going to be another nurse there to help me out? How can I cover for another nurse for a whole eight-hour shift? Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what time meds or anything is given. Like, that's dangerous. I got a license to protect. So, you know, that was the only thing that was, like, annoying. And so I told her, like, I'll see her on Monday. Of course, she's going to be there on Monday because, like, she usually comes in um, during the weekdays. But I was, like, a little annoyed just because, like, after the overnight and then working the bus shift, I was just like, oh, why did I tell her I could cut? That I would come in on Saturday. I'm like, I'm so tired. Why did I tell her? I should have just told her Monday. And then when I came in today, now she's like, oh, I forgot. Like, I could have had the day off. <laughs> like, I really could have, like, caught up on my sleep. But, you know, on the bright side, I did get some money. Okay? I got money. I got paid for today. So, you know, that's not bad. But it was just, like, annoying being there. It wasn't too annoying. I don't know. Annoying the fact, it got annoying when I realized that I didn't have to be there. <laughs> That's when it got annoying. But in general, it was like a lot. I'm still learning. Um, I feel like the bus cases has definitely spoiled me. And this is why. I'm going to let y'all know, okay? <laughs> Don't be like me and get too comfortable and lazy. Like, do stuff where you're always going to be doing your nursing skills. Because then you'll lose them. Because, like, a lot of the stuff, I was just like, oh, crap. Like, bed baths. <laughs> we did a bed bath. And I'm like, I haven't done this in school. Like, what? But the, on the bright side, um, a lot of the patients do help. They're not like um, like nursing home patients where you got to really put your back in. Like, you could tell them, oh, lift your bottom up. They'll help lift up. So it makes things easier. You could tell them to turn and they'll turn their body. So it does make things a lot easier. But it's just like, 
for me, it's been a while, okay? And then on top of that, like, I'm being introduced to new things such as, like, the Hoyer lift. I've never used a Hoyer lift before. Um, and so, you know, that's a common thing in nursing homes, but usually it's usually two people to a patient and two people to do a Hoyer lift for a patient. And um, in home care, all the cases I had never had a Hoyer lift. And in nursing school, I never got to use a Hoyer lift because we were students. Students never got to use Hoyer lifts for my school. So um, to me, that was like kind of kind of hard to learn just because also um, they don't have the um, automatic Hoyer, Hoyer lift. They have the manual one. So you actually got to pump and like it was just a lot um learning how to give like the baths in the shower chair and the shower um bed so it was just a lot today um the one patient that gets a one-to-one didn't have a one-to-one so like you know it was all of our responsibilities to watch her and so there was a point where she wasn't listening and i was just like yo hello like come on let's go this way and then she started screaming like ah and i was just like whoa, I never had to deal with this in pediatrics. <laughs> like, so it was just, it was a little, a little culture shock for me today, but uh, I think it will get better. Um, the more that I do things, the more that it'll get better. And like I said, I don't do Saturdays eight to three. So this is like a completely different thing because on the weekdays from nine o'clock to two thirty, they're at the day program. So it's not like I have to, you know, do as much as I was doing today so but just in case I need to cover on a weekend like now I know how it goes and the patients usually they just do what they want they say in bath they want um you know they just chill but yeah overnight to me so far is a lot easier than morning shift I now know why people like to do overnight but even morning shift was pretty easy too just because like when I come in eight o'clock really just giving the eight o'clock meds and then I'm out but then it's just weird. It's like a whole dynamic and like because there's a different group of people for each different shift, everyone does things differently. So like Monday when I came in, um, the eight o'clock nurse was the one doing the meds. But Thursday when I worked overnight, it was the overnight nurse who did the morning meds, the eight o'clock meds. So it's just like learning, okay, who's doing what and how all that goes. But um yeah, that's it. That's my update. <laughs> Sorry for being MIA, um, like I said before, guys. Um, but I'll be letting you guys know how this is going, this whole group home nursing thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stop talking. Um, and, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, no, I'm not even going to say it. I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>